High-Rise Camera User Manual. Section 1 offers two options to set up your tripod and base. If you plan on using ground stakes to anchor your tripod into the ground, use option A in this video. If you plan on using anchor or sandbags to anchor down your tripod, use option B in this video. Section 1, Option A. Setting up the tripod and base using stakes. You will need the following items for this section. Telescopic pole, tripod, easy spin base, straight stakes. Open up the tripod at your desired location and let each leg out. Extend each tripod leg to full length. Then, use the clamp down lever on the tripod leg to lock your position. Locate the bubble level on the top of the tripod. Ensure the bubble is in the center of the circle. This will confirm the tripod is level. If the bubble is not in the center of the circle, level the tripod by releasing the clamp down lever on the tripod leg, one at a time. Once adjusted, lock the clamp down lever for that tripod leg. Repeat this as needed for each tripod leg until the tripod is level. When the tripod is level, the bubble will be in the center of the level. Position the Easy Spin Base directly under the tripod pole guide. Slide the telescopic pole through the tripod pole guide at the top and center of the tripod. Then, insert the pole into the Easy Spin Pole Base. Ensure the pole spins back and forth smoothly. Make sure the base is positioned under the center of the tripod. If the pole does not spin smoothly, the base is likely not positioned directly below the center of the tripod and should be recentered below the center of the tripod. Push a 10 inch straight stake into each hole located on the top of each tripod foot. Repeat this step for all three tripod feet. This will secure it to the ground. Note, we do not recommend inserting the stakes into artificial turf. Section one, option B. Setting up the tripod and base using anchor slash sandbags. You will need the following items for this section. Telescopic pole, tripod, easy spin base, anchor, or sandbags. Open up the tripod at your desired location and let each leg out. Extend each tripod leg to full length. Then, use the clamp down lever on the tripod leg to lock your position. Repeat this as needed for each tripod leg until the tripod is level. Locate the bubble level on the top of the tripod. Ensure the bubble is in the center of the circle. This will confirm the tripod is level. If the bubble is not in the center of the circle, level the tripod by releasing the clamp down lever on the tripod leg, one at a time. Once adjusted, lock the clamp down lever for that tripod leg. Repeat this as needed for each tripod leg until the tripod is level. When the tripod is level, the bubble will be in the center of the level. Position the Easy Spin Base directly under the tripod pole guide. Slide the telescopic pole through the tripod pole guide at the top and center of the tripod. Then, insert the pole into the Easy Spin Pole Base. Ensure the pole spins back and forth smoothly. Make sure the base is positioned under the center of the tripod. If the pole does not spin smoothly, the base is likely not positioned directly below the center of the tripod and should be recentered below the center of the tripod. Fill each anchor bag with a minimum of 25 pounds of weight, sand, etc. Secure each tripod leg by attaching the anchor bag strap into the clip located on the tripod leg. Repeat this process on each tripod leg until all legs are secured with an anchor bag. Section two. Setting up the upper brackets and electronics. You will need the following items for this section. Camera housing and shield, electronics cable assembly, solar battery pack. Remove the two inch screw with knob located at the top of the telescopic pole. Insert the two inch screw with knob through the hole located at the bottom of the L bracket on the camera housing and shield back into the top of the telescopic pole. Tighten until firm. Make sure the L bracket is positioned so that it is not covering the outer loophole located at the top of the pole. Turn the camera toward the front of the housing and ensure the camera is secure by tightening the black knob on the bottom of the bracket. Open the camera lens cover and LCD viewing screen. 
Attach the electronics cable assembly clip to the outer loophole located on the top of the telescopic pole. Important! Clip should be attached in between the two cables via the opening in the cable assembly. This will ensure the clip provides the correct stress relief. Make sure the chamber tab is facing outward. Slide the chamber in the camera shield track. Next, close the lever to lock the chamber in place. Once the lever is locked in place, the chamber should no longer be able to slide. Test to confirm. Plug the HDMI cable into the camera HDMI port. Make sure your HDMI connector is fully connected into the camera HDMI port. When plugging the HDMI cable into the video camera, the cable must be straight, not bent. If the HDMI cable is too long, causing it to bend, then adjust the chamber accordingly. Plug the remote cable, marked multi, into the camera on the side opposite of the HDMI port. Attach the solar battery pack to the top of the camera housing and shield. Use the solar battery pack that has Velcro strips underneath. Attach using the matching Velcro strips located on the solar battery pack and camera housing and shield. Plug the other end of the camera solar battery pack USB connector into the camera's USB cable located on the camera grip. Tip. The solar battery is correctly activated with the camera when the battery power icon on the camera LCD screen does not appear. Section 3, raising the pole, attaching the lower brackets, and final connections. You will need the following items for this section. Tilt control cables, tilt control handle, viewing monitor, viewing monitor mount and knob, viewing monitor bracket, viewing monitor battery. Attach the tilt control cables to the tilt control bracket on the camera housing and shield. Attach the ends that do not have adjustment tabs or small metal tabs. Unwind the tilt control cables. To extend the telescopic pole, unlatch the aluminum lever, then raise the top pole section. Once you see the red section of the pole, you have reached maximum extension. Now, lock your position in place by clamping the aluminum lever closed. As you lock each pole section in place, use the Velcro straps on the electronic cable to connect one strap to each pole section. Repeat this process with each section until the telescopic pole is fully extended. Ensure the camera is facing the target area. If you need to rotate the pole so that the camera is facing the target area, grab the bottom pole section and turn accordingly. Attach the tilt control handle to the telescopic pole. Ensure the tilt control handle is aligned in the same direction as the camera housing and shield at the top of the pole. Attach at a point above the top of the tripod. Attach the ends of the tilt control cables to the tilt control handle. Ensure the tilt control handle is aligned in the same direction as the camera housing and shield at the top of the pole. Adjust the tension of the tilt control cables by using the adjustment tabs, the small metal tabs, on the end of the cables to take the slack out of the cables. Ensure camera housing and shield is pointing slightly downward or toward the target area when finalizing the tension of the tilt control cables. This will ensure your tilt control handle works properly and comfortably. Screw in the viewing monitor mount into the bottom of the viewing monitor. Place the black viewing monitor knob through the hole at the bottom of the viewing monitor bracket, then into the viewing monitor mount. Once finalized, ensure the knob on the viewing monitor mount is facing forward. This will help you adjust the angle of the monitor later in the instructions. Important! Once filming is complete, you must remove the viewing monitor mount from the bottom of the viewing monitor. If not removed, it may cause damage to your monitor and void your warranty. Attach the viewing monitor bracket to the tripod leg. We suggest attaching the viewing monitor bracket near the top of the tripod leg. However, feel free to attach it where is most comfortable for you. Be sure the viewing monitor bracket has a tight and secure fit on the tripod leg. Next, use the viewing monitor mount to adjust the viewing monitor to your desired angle. Attach the viewing monitor battery to the back of the viewing monitor and power on the monitor. Locate the HDMI cable connector on the end of the electronics cable assembly. Plug into the HDMI in port on the back of the viewing monitor. Use the clip to organize and secure the electronic cable assembly cord. You are now ready to begin filming.